Welcome back, everyone. This is Zade, and we are back in our single-player world, Vanilla Survival, today. And we are in a swamp, instead of in our cave. Mm, what could that mean? Well, let's see. So where are we? We are, if we look over here, let's see if we can get kind of a view. And eh, there's trees in the way. Let me, let me run up this hill. We're not too far from our base. I just have to see over the mountain. All right there, there we go. Okay, so that, that hill is the hill that we are on. You can see all these little ledges. There's this big fat one right there on the edge. If you were to run to the side of that and then run and just hug it all the way around and follow it into where that tree, I don't know, well, you can see there's a tree sticking up right there. That is one of the trees that we cut down for wood. So that's that's where we're at. And where are we now? And we're watching the sunset. Ah, oh, precious. Uh, next to this witch, witch farm, right? Yeah, it's time. It is time. We are finally going to build our witch farm. And of course, it's going to be... It's going to get dark. So it's a good thing we have sweet gear on the server. Hopefully we won't have creeper problems. Or I'll have to, I'll have to go get a bed and come back. So we've got spare supplies. All kinds of random junk in the ender chest. But I have just about everything we need in our shulker box here and in my inventory. We are building a design by Z Petty. It will definitely be linked in the description and it will definitely be linked uh, in the end screen of this video. So check those out. Um, probably going to have to get a little choppy with it because it's going to take a little bit to build though. It's not super complicated. First thing we have to do is build three platforms covering the spawn area. I stuck that one up there already because it's a little harder to get to. But that's the top platform is the block right above your roof. And if you do the block right above and then leave a gap of two, put a block, leave a gap of two, and it's going to be right there. Those are the three layers that we can get spawns on. So now we need to mark off the size, which goes to this little lip. I added these two blocks right here. If I'm not exactly, you can see better. So that's where the actual witch hut is. And that is the area, the size of the roof, plus this one block that sticks out where the front of the, the porch is. That's the spawn area. It should be 7 by 9. So we need to go there. And this, the reason that we're using the blocks, we're using nether brick. I just grabbed nether brick because why not? And the other two layers need to be built out of blocks that will not be moved by slimes. Melons fall into that category. I had plenty, so I just said, hey, let's let's use melons. And I just need to fill these in and tear out the witch hut. Okay, it's gone. No more witch foot. Hut, hut, foot, hut. It's a, it's a hut. No more witch hut. <laughs> anyway. I uh, did not take me that long to do, but I realized I needed more unmovable blocks, so I had to run back over there and grab another stack of melons, because that was the one thing I was missing. But, there's the three layers, that's where the witches are going to spawn. Now, we are going to attempt to make it do something. <laughs> so let's see, I've, I've kind of got a, an image of it open in my uh, other screen, so I can kind of tell what I'm doing. But I haven't, I just kind of threw it together once real fast as like a mock practice. But, uh, yeah. So we need that, we need that, we need those, we need those, probably more of those. Okay. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is um, find the long side, which is here, and find the very center. And we're going to stick a block. This is actually going to push the mobs off this layer. And it is simply going to be what I put to <laughs> we just go like that. Five slime blocks. And on the other side, one, two, whoops, three, four, five. So this in the end, this is a gonna be like a pusher, and it's gonna get shoved across here. So if you're a mob, as this moves across, it will push you until you fall off the side and down into a hole where they'll fall and die. And um, that's so these layers need to be non-movable because we don't want the slime to stick to the ceiling. But the top layer is going to be up in the air, so this one doesn't matter. Let's see here. Move my water bucket. Let's kind of get up and build all three layers at once. 
Uh, so climb on here. Uh, the center is right there. So five that way and five this way. See how smart we can be. And then we can walk out. <laughs> I'm a genius. And then up here, um, it's just a case of uh, pop it up one, one, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four, five. So that's that's the structure. Now we have to wire it with redstone. And, and as, as crazy as farm of as, as this is, the redstone's actually not overly complicated. Uh, so what we have to do is just put some temp blocks in one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna have to tear this tree out here. It's gonna get in the way. And then the seventh block right there. And then what we do is take our pistons and take one, two, three, four, five, oops. We're, we're turning <laughs> we're too low in the water. Four, five, eh. Kind of like, where's, I'll just jump up. You know what? <laughs> water. I didn't have this problem. Okay. Come on, pistons. Seriously. Seriously, bro. <laughs> Seriously, bro. Five, six. There we go. Uh, so that goes into there. And this block is nothing. And then we do the same thing. So this, this row of pistons is going to push this half of the line across. And so we need to do the exact same thing on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And fill this in the same exact way. And then I need to repeat the exact same process on each layer. And the exact same thing on the other side. So what I mean by the other side, of course I can't reach from here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, oh, I knew I wouldn't be able to do that. Eh, got it. Uh, so what we have to do on the other side is where these slimes will spawn when or stop. So they'll stop right there. And so we want to go one, two, three four, five, six, seven, and put our pistons here. And what happens is when we're done, these pistons are gonna push it this way, and then the pistons on this side are gonna push it back. So I'll go ahead four, ah, and fill all the pistons in and be right back. Pistons are done twice because I put them in the wrong spot the first time but anyway let's get uh, let's get to the redstone now so if we jump right over there you can see the pistons on either side facing inward and then we have to wire each set of pistons so like this is one set two sets three and then three on the other side we gotta wire those up so to wire those up what we need to do is make a line of blocks uh, directly above them okay so if we come over here let's do this one uh, what we do f is uh, these blocks don't matter but the ones right here again are gonna get hit by that slime block right there uh, so we do so touch this guy uh, so we do want the top row here to be non movable and then along the top of the other pistons we just put some blocks in. I'm gonna, you know, let's make a scaffold. That will be much, much easier. There we go. We're just gonna cover right along the top of the pistons with whatever block we want. Just move this slime block out of the way for now. Of course it would fall down in the water. Why wouldn't it? <laughs> Why wouldn't it? Ha! <laughs> okay. And just kind of scaffold out over here as well and cover that with blocks and the redstone is as complicated as ready start in the end dust repeater second tick and then we repeat that and we repeat it again and another time and then we come over to the other side and we just go dust repeater on two ticks dust 
Repeater two ticks. Dust. Repeater on two ticks. Dust. And then. And then. And then. Is that. Mm, why does that not match? Uh, no. We need one more repeater. Right. 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 So then in the center, in this little hole, we just take any old block. So we just take our nether book building block and just go one, two, three. And we just make dust go one, two, three. And then for spawning purposes later, there's going to be this block right here that we don't want mobs spawning on. So we're just going to stick a block right there so it can't. Okay. Ah, uh, a coup, a coup, a coup, a coup. Okay. And then we put our slime block back. Okay. So let's uh, let's get down here. Let's see. Um, that's so that's basically each layer. Uh, we have to do that for each set, so I'll do that off uh, and come back. But um, once we do that, let's I can get to the demonstration before that. However, uh, let's see what row should this sit at. Uh, I'm trying to look at my thing. One below the piston, yes. Uh, so right there, perfect. Is where our first dot of dust will go. And then we need a row here, right? Right. All the way across? Yes, except for right there. Yeah, so that, that block doesn't need to be there. Let's just fill that in because the water is going to be all funky. Boop, boop. And then just take this all the way to right in front of that piston, just like that. Okay. And then we make that same shape on the other side. And all this is going to do, I need, I need two sticky pistons. Let's, let's go build two sticky pistons. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, I have it in my bags. I'll go put it, you know what, let's just grab this whole thing. Let's just grab this whole thing. If you are following my channel, by the way, but not following my two crafty series, that's why there hasn't been a vanilla world one from single player, single player vanilla world out for a little bit. I have been playing a lot on the Too Crafty server. If you followed my channel for a long time, you know I used to be on it, and now I'm just I'm just back. So let's see. Let's just uh, stick that right there. I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I've got one in my bags, and I need two iron. Uh, so that's that's where I've been. I've been having a, a total ton of fun, and therefore. I, uh, I've been a little busy to come back to the Switch out because I just been having way too much fun with everybody else on there. So if you're kind of curious where I've been and you haven't been watching that series, you should go watch that series. Yes. Just, just tossing that out there. I guess I had cobblestone in my bag too, but whatever. Oh, uh, we're missing a step. I need the actual wood. <laughs> I know how to Minecraft. Alright, so fill that in, get some pistons, and then these need to be sticky. There we go. And they just go right here, right? Yes, yes, yes. And because we have this wood, you know, just stick it on there. <laughs> Why not? We'll put the movable block on just for fun. Okay, so... um. That's that's just uh yeah. I, I don't even remember what that does. <laughs> anyway. Uh so to wire this up, we put a repeater right here, two ticks again. Okay. Put this not way over there. Wow. On top of that block. And then optionally to change the speed we can add repeaters right here. We probably want to slow it down. He has this recommended in the tutorial, so I'm gonna try that out. I think it should be okay. And then we have to link, I have some half slabs already. We have to link this up to this row of stuff right there. So let's see, where do I need it? I need a half slab right there. And we'll just put our dust right here and then that links the whole way up. And then to get it up to the next row, we just We'll put half slabs going back and forth to get to there, and then back and forth to get to there. We'll get to that in a minute. So that, that wires this whole side. And now we just... Oh, my blocks are running away. 
I'm a block cog. I want it back. Okay. So then we're going to repeat the exact same thing on the other side, starting one layer above the right there. And then let's see. Can I build off this lily pad? Oh, perfect. Thanks, lily pad. <laughs> Can I build off this lily pad? Yeah, I guess I don't need to. I just go like that. Okay. And then down one for our piston, which can just go on top of that block. And then, right? No, up one. Cool. So then we just, where'd our piston go? I'm not going to be able to get up there. One second. Uh, let's go. Da, da, da. Okay. Can I get the angle? Can I get the angle? Nope. <laughs> no, I cannot. All right. Cool. So there we go. Uh, I need the half slab on the side, don't I? At uh, that level right uh, there. Okay. And then we just need to get up here somehow and wire this the exact same way we did on the other side. So repeater, block, repeater on full, repeater on full, redstone, redstone, redstone. Redstone, redstone. Okay. Now let's get rid of the scaffolding, although it shouldn't matter. I think it's not gonna be in the way for this. But this should let us see if our stuff works and I'll be able to show you the concept and then I just have to wire up the rest of the farm and then we just have to put a roof on it and build some holes for the guys for the witches to drop down and uh, and we're done and then we just have to cave light so they actually spawn that would be the other thing <laughs> so all we need is a redstone block and here's how this works so we're gonna put it on top of um, this redstone dot or this redstone dot doesn't matter that'll be easier because I can stick it against the block and what it's gonna do is gonna power this side and when it powers it's gonna power the far piston and then there's gonna be a delay as it goes so it's gonna power that one then 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 that one so they're gonna push all the way out they're gonna push the slime over to here and be left so they will be like random pistons but then the redstone block is also going to get dragged by the slime block and it's going to end up above here and it's going to repeat the same thing, power that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and it's going to push the whole thing back over. So if we observe, it goes that way and then it goes back. And if we get back a little bit, you can see the pistons are just extending. Whoa, we're sinking in a hole. And then they push each other back, this other row. It comes out and when it comes back, they just get shoved back in and then they get pushed back out and shoved back in and pushed back out and so on. So then what we do if we look from this other side, you can see this row of slime with its little uh, friend in the middle there. And we only have the one side hooked up so we can jump in over here. It's just moving back and forth across this platform. So if we're a witch, let's say we're a witch and we spawn, this is going to come and it's going to hit wherever we are and it's going to shove us off. Okay, so all we have to do is put a row of blocks about right here. So there's a one wide gap. We'll put some glass or something right here that'll push the witches into the hole. We'll dig 43 or so blocks down, maybe longer. I can't remember where my tunnel is. And the witches will spawn. They'll get shoved off the platform, fall and die. More witches will spawn. They might get shoved off the other side. So we'll have a drop shoot on both sides and uh, light some caves so they actually spawn and we're good to go. That's, that's, yeah, that's it. And then we can actually build an on-off switch uh, for this as well. If we just build another sticky piston, so I'll need that. Let me shove some junk in here. My bags are foo full. Okay, so if we take, oh, I put it, I didn't, I didn't put the wood over there. Well, that's just weird. Now we just have to, we just have to move this. It just makes sense. Okay. Um, if we just make a piston, so I need an iron, I think I have everything else in my bags. Yes, yes. More wood. Oops, that's going to be different wood. Oops, I used it anyway. Well, whatever. <laughs> whatever. I forgot I chopped down a tree. 
It's fine. It's all fine. <laughs> so if we do that and then sticky it. And then we can, uh, let's see, I'm going to need a lever. So give me some sticks. And uh, yes, is that all I need? That's all I need. So what we can do is any of these redstone blocks here, if we come and just like pop that one out and put this block in its place, it'll still work the same because the redstone is going to power through, go right through that block. It makes absolutely no difference. But then we can put a sticky piston right there <coughs> wait wait for it third time's the charm right there yes and we can put a lever right here and power it and now it's grabbing that block right there so anytime we want to turn the farm off we just flip that it'll disconnect our redstone signal and when it gets back to here it'll just stop so we can turn that on and off anytime we want. Let me take a cut in the video, and I will, um, I'll go ahead and wire up all of the other slots. I've got to do all, 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 all sides. And then to connect them, um, I'll show you when we're done. We're just going to run a redstone current to the other side, so it'll, it'll do both sides. And then I'll go ahead and probably build the glass chutes as well, and, and get it all dug out and be done. Where did you come from? Where? Where, oh, oh, yeah, what's up? I have thorns. I could just let you shoot me with how weak your bow is. What do you got on there? Like, punch one? Not punch. He, he just killed himself on my thorns. <laughs> Sucker. Anyway, I'll be right back. Okay. He's done. So just kind of come over here and show. And you can see each line's going back and forth. And it'll just keep pushing everything. And uh, all we do to get them up each layer on each side, we just have the half slabs back and forth with redstone on top. So the signal goes up. And then you can watch the signal pops there and shoots across to here and hits the other side. And so all sides are running. This witch farm is now done save for two things. Um, let me turn this off. So what I need to do now, it's getting kind of late, we're going to finish the recording, and I'll have this ready by next episode. I'll try to do some cave lighting and stuff before next episode to get some spawns as well. Uh, but all I need to do is dig the two holes on either side of the farm and create the drop chutes, and we'll put some glass in right here. There'll be a hole right here. They'll fall down into some hoppers. I've got a tunnel dug um, for a while now, actually. I've had a tunnel dug straight underneath here, so I just have to dig down to that tunnel create the drop shoots, some glass, and they'll fall to their deaths into some hoppers. And then I have to put a roof over this, just a giant half slab roof. And I'm sure you've seen it in pretty much any witch farm ever, but it's just, you know, the like diamond shaped half slab roof. And what it does is you make a roof big enough that even in the middle of the day, the edge of your spawn platforms have a light level of zero. And that way you always have just maximum spawning efficiency. So I'll put the roof on before next episode. We'll dig the hole before next episode. And I'll try to get some cave lighting done. And try to get some spawns going. So at the start of the next episode I'll be able to show you this thing working. And then uh, from there we need, to, we need to start farming materials. We still have a guardian farm to build in this world. And some other, some other little things. So let me know what you think of the witch farm. And uh, yeah, in the comments say hello and uh and yeah that's gonna do it for today this as always has been zade thanks for watching make sure you check out z petty's video so you can see the original tutorial it'll be linked as i said probably on the screen right now and in the video description below thank you for watching have a good one bye bye